Synthetic biology is really an approach to design and redesign of biological components where we try to gain an understanding through building processes, building or, uh, organelles, building cells uh, synthetically using all the techniques available in chemistry, bioengineering, and biology to put those together to synthesize new and redesign biological components uh, for the understanding and treatment of diseases like cancer. I think there are many interesting projects currently going on that are very relevant to cancer research. For example, some researchers have been uh, engineering uh, bacteria cells and use that engineered bacteria cells to target and invade tumor cells. And upon entrance, the newly engineered bacteria will release toxic enzymes to kill the host cells. So, you know, how cool is that? Um, and there are other examples. People have been designing new molecular switches uh, to construct novel signaling pathways and networks and use those new intracellular networks to detect and react to abnormal cellular uh, signaling events. Another example is drug development. The uh, first FDA-approved drug developed using synthetic biology approach is artemisinin. It's an um, anti-malaria drug demonstrating the potential of synthetic biology uh, contributing to novel ways of uh, drug development. Ethical concerns um, have been raised ever since the start of the field. There are uh, safety concerns, security concerns. The new technology can be used by wrong people and can be used by e even the right people, but uh, unintentional uh, consequence to the environment, to human health. So this is the beginning. Uh, the field is evolving, and new problems, new concerns will arise. But uh, I'm very glad to see uh, leaders of the field are very actively engaged in all the discussions and research on bioethics issues. Well, the future, definitely the technology will further improve. Uh, we'll see continued improvement of sequencing technology, DNA synthesis technology, and protein synthesis technology. And more importantly, new knowledge gained through other fields of biology. So all that's going to integrate it and feed into synthetic biology and enable the synthetic biologists to um, have more sophisticated design and construction of biological system that be ever closing to clinical applications. I think we're at a critical point in the, in the field in synthetic biology, and that's why we've seen a number of workshops, and, and NCI has been very interested in, in, in promoting this field, because I think we know a lot more about the parts list of the cell. We're a lot better at synthesizing. The chemi chemistry has gotten much more advanced. I think we're at a critical point where we can start now applying this in much more directed ways. I mean, by witnessing all the technology um, innovations, um, revolutions, in the last few years, especially in the field of uh, uh, DNA sequencing, DNA synthesis, um, you know, this field is, is ready to take off. Mm -hmm.